Good morning, Franklin families. It's Mrs. Doman, one of the assistant principals here at Franklin Academy Sunrise. I hope all is well with your family in your households and all of your children are learning the new platform for our virtual learning. I hope they're all logged into Google Classroom this week. They're starting to see their assignments and their lessons. I've been joining some of the office hours, so it was my privilege to see the scholars this week. Um, it was fun popping in and being able to say hi to everyone. I do want to present a daily tip today um, to help your scholar organize themselves. I know it can seem overwhelming, um, especially as the assignments and the lessons for each course are posted. Um, so this is gonna be a quick video to guide you and your scholar to manage their assignments for each course. I'm gonna share my screen and I'm gonna lead them through to really help organize themselves um, so that they can keep track of all those due dates that are gonna be coming up um, within the next week. Here is my Google Classroom. As you see, I am logged on to a couple of the teachers we have for NYP. I do wanna show, this is a student view. I am logged in as a student to a lot of our courses here. I'm gonna click on one of the courses. It doesn't matter which one. Once you click on that course, you're gonna see the courses for all of your classes. If you're from kindergarten to year three, you're gonna see your core courses, your electives. You should be joined into each class for our younger K-5. Scholars, you're gonna see specials. You should join all of your specials teachers. They have pages for you. Um, join them with the class codes that we emailed, that master list. Um, we also have it um, in the email Mr. Delgado had sent. So you're gonna join your core classes and your specials or for NYP, your core classes and your electives. On that screen, the home page, as I saw, you're gonna see all of your classes. This is a particular course that I'm logged in. This is Mr. Singh, World History. A scholar will click on any course. As you see on the top, you're gonna to see a classwork tab. On the top of a classwork tab for any class that the scholar is joined, you're gonna see a Google Calendar. This is a great resource for your child in regards to keeping track of everything that will be due. Um, what happens is the teacher does assign a due date for each assignment in all of their courses. If you click the Google Calendar in any of their courses, what you're gonna see is you're gonna actually see all of the due dates and when the teachers have assigned them to be due. So I have assigned different colors for each course. What you're gonna see on the left-hand side for your scholar is you're gonna see all of the calendars that they have. So for example, I'm a student in US History for Miss Glenn, for Mr. Singh, World History, Ostroff, PE, Perpignan. A lot of the courses that we have, you're gonna see all of your courses here. So what's nice about the Google Calendar is again, you could switch between the months. I'm gonna stay in April for now. And you can see all of the due dates that, that the assignments you have in your courses. This calendar includes every course. So you don't have to do any extra work. It's all organized here for you. What's fun is the scholars can click on these three dots next to the course, and they can choose, choose a particular color. So I can change the color for, for example, Coach Leonardo's class to blue, and any assignment that he posts will have a dot of blue. So for example, for Mr. Singh, he's green, so his assignments are here. What's nice about the calendar as well is if you click on the assignment that's going to be due, for example, on the 7th for Mr. Singh, what I'm gonna see is actually the link to that assignment. So it gives me the directions, it gives me the assignment name, and it gives me the link. So that will directly take me to the link for the course. For example, here, this is another course that I'm logged into. You can see her description. She gives you directions on what is due, which pages correlate with which video, and again, it directly goes to her link as well as to her email if you have any questions and how to submit the assignment. So again, this is a one-stop shop for our scholars um, helping organize themselves now that we're in our virtual learning model. So I wanted to share that tip with you. Again, we're here to support you. 
We're here to support you through this process. We know it's a learning process for all of us, um, but please reach out to us. Start with the classroom teacher if you have particular questions about the assignments. Any technical issues, you can either email the teacher or administration is here to help. I hope you guys have a great day and I hope this is helpful to organize all of your children during this process. Have a great day and it was nice to speak to you.